All right, in today's video, Alfie breaks a bolt. Harrison fits a fender. And Ty cusses. What's up guys, welcome to another video. And today we're doing wide body stuff. So, as you remember, we picked up our eBay wide body fenders. And these just came in, which I'm stoked about. These are our new vents. So, when you do a wide body, Mikey, aka Pineapple, told me we need to have vents in the top because the bigger, uh, we're gonna run a bigger wheel. We're going to have a wider area in here for air to get trapped. We need that air to go out. So, we got some vents. Fitting these will be kind of interesting, but hopefully they work. These are from Professional Awesome and we're gonna put these in the fenders. So, they should fit, should be nice, should look rad. I think we're gonna leave them black, because I like the black. And, uh, yeah, we'll just add more, more vents to this car, because it already has, I guess, not enough vents. So, more vents. So, while we are waiting for Harrison to come over here to help me, we are going to talk about some new uh, suspension bits. I'll include some videos here, but Terry at Fortunato has been taking very good care of me since this accident, um, since our little hill climb incident, crash, break situation, whatever you want to call it. So Fortune is coming on board and giving me a new set of Fortunato 510. Well, the cool thing about these is they're inverted. So I'll be the first RX-7 to be running an inverted coilover setup from Fortunato. Um, I don't know anybody, I actually don't know who makes inverted setups for RX-7s, but we'll be running that on the FC. Now you might be asking why inverted coilovers? They handle lateral load better. Um, you get a little bit, uh, you get some unsprung weight reduction with it. And yeah, so. Pretty rad. Fortune wants me to work with them on prototyping and testing this, so I am super stoked to be doing so. So I'll put some pictures and some videos of them. They uh, they engraved or they they laser etched my my name and prototype into the top hats, which I think is super rad. So I appreciate you, Fortune. Thank you guys. Thank you, Terry, for taking care of me and everybody over at Fortune. I'm really stoked to get these coilovers in. So that'll be a future video hopefully in the next maybe next week because I know they're shipping out tomorrow so we'll get them uh, probably Friday Saturday Monday a day one of the two so we'll do that and then uh, yeah that'll be our new nice suspension that I'm super stoked for and ready to test out a Nola and, uh, yeah that's about it on that part so good stuff thank you fortune love you guys everybody if you do not have fortune on the court yeah if you are in the market for coilovers, I strongly suggest you give Fortune a shout and you they will help you with all your suspension needs. Alright, in today's video, Alfie breaks a bolt. Harrison fits a fender. And Ty cusses. Oh, this is safe. Is there a wheel on the other side? Shut yeah, up. there is. <laughs> You need the pry bar? You need a third hand. Ah, got he. How do you know about that? She, you can see it right through. Are you trying to get the spacer in there? Yeah, look, no, literally. Am I like not fat enough? Am I just wasting my time? Yeah, what do you, I was gonna say. <laughs> like, you lost all that weight. Okay. Come on. Like, is it worth the right, we, we need to re, maybe two people? <laughs> <That's not laughs> all right, Harrison, how's the fender fitting going? Ah, uh, it's good. It's like, not great, but it's good. It's a lot better than the... It's easier than the eBay bumper? Way easier. Yeah, nice Shocker. Alright, Al, you ready for this rig? Alright, so we gotta drill another hole? Yeah, we just gotta keep going. Is that, that's our next hole, right? Uh, right there, or no? Mm, I don't think so. That's a hole. I guess we could just take that fender off and then look and at then the look, holes. Yeah, that's... Oops, that's too easy. <laughs> Um, Why be smart about it? That is not the next hole. The next hole is right here on the strut tower. So it's here. It's yep. that one. Yeah. All right. Cool. There's a cracked fender. 
So our driver's side fender is mounted. Wow, it's actually pretty easy to do better than it. We're all mounted up. There's some Wait, actually no. There's some panel gap, but it's just extra venting. It's actually pretty good. Um, we gotta do this side, but this side seems like a bitch because we're by a wall. Can't really get back there to properly mount the sides. So there's that. But I gotta cut a truck, so we're gonna cut the truck too. Um, damn, I was really hoping we could do that. Alfie sent me a picture. I vaguely looked at it. I think we cut like here, yeah. and then that gets pushed in. And you cut here, and then that shit gets pushed up or something. I don't really know. Seems legit. What is the noise? Jack's name, bro. Several. Did the exhaust on a. Uh... Is that shit gonna fail? Oh, uh, wait, no. I jacked up. Oh, Alright, update. Alfredo, can you move yourself? Yeet. We bash the shit out of Alfie's truck to put his 20s on like a Yeebo. And I gotta cut that thing and then Harrison's doing fender things. Uh, Alfie, do you have the Sharpie? Shut the fuck. I already Sharpied it. No, Harrison uh, needs the Sharpie. On top of the Ryobi um, accessory box. Alright. Alright, so essentials, can you hand me that? Tyler, if you had to guess, it's way more end what size would it be in American? If it's slightly bigger than a 15 mil. 17. It's not American, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> well, 9 16 is 14, one off of that, I think it's like 15 point something. Alright, we have all the truck work going on, shipbox car work going on. We've determined these fenders are from the future because that sticker says 2220. We're not uh, sure if that's a build day, like the day they made it, or it's an expiration date. When it explodes. Just gonna blow up on track, send James into a wall. <laughs> Self destructing fenders. <laughs> Only the best from China. Only the best. We are quickly running out of light. It is no longer summer, which sucks. But we have a wide body, so I am now officially a famous YouTuber. Those are the laws. Those are the rules. Those are the laws. That, oh shit, no, it's not rocket body, dude. That's, that, you're, you're correct. <laughs> All right, well, we have a wide body. We're gonna put the hood on. Let's see how this goes. Ugh, looks pretty mint. This is tight. Yeah. That's really tight. We need to fix that. That's fine. <laughs> Look at that panel gap, kids. So. We're officially famous YouTubers. Oh, yeah. It's under the truck. You feel accomplished, Harrison? Oh. This is so much easier than the freaking bumper. I know. What do we spend like freaking two hours doing this and the bumper was like. And a lot of that time was dicking around with the truck. Oh, yeah, we were dicking around with the truck, so this probably took 30 minutes. Maybe a little bit more, but yeah. 45. Yeah. So we're going to tell the internet. Yeah. So, gang. Well, till next time. Doing those, uh, it's gonna look rad with the with, with the vents. Yeah. With the vents. Vents make everything more progressive. I'm excited for the rears too. Yeah. Those will be what hot. What? There's a crack pipe. 
Oh. Truck. So I am cutting the truck tomorrow? Yeah, I probably you're probably not gonna cut the other side, but I still gotta put the lift in just to put the tires on. Okay. That works. I'm not gonna be one corner lifted. <laughs> which is, which be that fun. would be funny. The new thing. That's the new flex, Alfie. The whole left side of your car is six inches higher. Wait, you actually have to hit those things and take them off? Yeah. Wow. Just to, just to hit your lug nuts and take them off. I'm also working on a project at the house, working on a new desk, which I'm pretty excited about, but we'll continue the wide body video for another day because this video, wide body video was gonna end up being too long for what I really wanted to do. So I'll show you on my desk and we'll catch y'all later. All right guys, here is my six foot long butcher block desk. Just uh, got done oiling it. I gotta do another coat later, but this will be my new work from home station, edit station, ship your stickers and all that stuff. So really excited for the desk. Now, speaking of stickers, we had a ton of y'all order stickers and I am very, very happy. So I sent out a batch uh, earlier and here's the batch that we still have to go through. So. Got a lot of stickers sold. We still have, uh, I think, 20 left. So get your stickers. They are $6 each, $2 shipping. Hit me up. I accept PayPal and Venmo. So that's it on stickers. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, let me know your thoughts on the wide body we chose so far, how it's going. And uh, yeah, we will catch y'all next time. Bye, y'all. Peace. Come to